This is a sequel to my video on Miller and Heiss's trill threshold. You may remember that the trill threshold is a frequency interval of about 15%, which in music is a little larger than a major second. Rapidly alternating tones within this interval tend to sound connected, but rapid tones at wider intervals tend to sound unconnected. Within this interval, there is a smaller inner threshold which has been dubbed the fission boundary, and I'm going to show you briefly what that does. If we start with alternating tones that are very close together, we tend to hear one pitch that is moving slightly up and down. This is kind of similar to the vibrato we hear in everyday music. In order to recognize both tones as discrete pitches, we are going to have to pull them further apart like so. Now the notes no longer blur together and you can hear each pitch clearly. So the fission boundary is the distance at which pitches sound like independent notes, and it suggests a minimum size for our scale steps in music. If our scales are built out of intervals larger than the fission boundary, each pitch will be clear and independent. Whereas if we make microtonal steps with quarter tones and the like, the effect might be more of a slide or a gliss. The size of the fission boundary has been defined as one quarter of the critical band. The critical band is a frequency interval that is thought to correspond to a fixed distance on the basilar membrane in the inner ear. It has important effects not only for the perception of small musical intervals, but also dissonance and a few other things. In perceptual space, it's larger in low registers and smaller in high registers. This is actually a graph of our fission boundary using a somewhat old equation for the critical band. Using this equation, a quarter of the critical band is almost a major second in low registers, like two octaves below middle C. At middle C, it's about a half step, and two octaves above middle C, it's a little bigger than a quarter tone. Remember that typical musical sounds have overtones that extend upward in frequency. So even if they are based in low registers, they'll have these upper components. So that's one factor that keeps our half steps from mushing together too badly, even though they are smaller than the fission boundary in the low registers. So I hope you found this informative. Uh, if you are interested, here is some more bibliography you could read on the trill threshold and the fission boundary.